did you see yourself more of as a writer or as a performer? I thought I was going to be a writer performer, sort of like the guys in Python who wrote all their sketches and then acted and stuff that they didn't write. And um, uh, I, I definitely was shooting for that. My first job was a deal for a show that I was going to star in. And um, then that didn't get made and it, it kind of the, the other thing that happened was I, I got so tired of going to auditions. Um, auditions in LA are so difficult because they're all over the place. Right, for sure, yeah. And I remember one time I went to audition at Sony, which is the furthest uh, point from anywhere on earth. <laughs> yep. um, and I remember walking in to the casting director's office and she took one look at me and said, oh, you're not right. And I said, oh, okay, and I'd driven so long to get there. And I think she saw it on my face and she said, uh, tell you what, here's another part that you could read for. And she gave me a script and she goes, uh, that, that part right there. And I say, the one that has one word? She goes, yeah, 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 do it. And I said, no. And she said, perfect, <laughs> thank you so much. And of course I didn't get it. And I was like, what, what am I doing this for? I just got very, very tired of auditioning. And meanwhile, as a writer, I had studios saying like, hey, here's hundreds of thousands of dollars to write a movie. I mean, that's what I pretty much chose is, is I'm just gonna stay home all day writing movies for a lot of money rather than traveling all day. Did you grow up ever thinking like, I want that performing attention? I, I did though, see that's, you the, did. that's the hard part. So, so I went into a kind of a 10 year period where I was only writing and I gave up on performing because I was writing movies until 2009 when I, as a, on a lark, started the podcast. And that's when suddenly I started performing again. And even when I started the podcast, I was like, I'm not gonna be the one shining, I'm gonna shine a light on the comedians who come on. And I'm just gonna be a host and ask questions and set them up for bits and what stuff. What do you think that is? I think I just got in my head about like, uh, I'm not, no, uh, there are so many more talented people than me out there. No one needs to see me performing. And I can still think that way. I mean, I had a, a show for 110 episodes where, you know, the, the, one of the biggest knocks on it that I, that I would always hear is like, eh, it's a funny show, but I hate the host, you know? And it's like, really? at a certain point, there's nothing you can do about that. Your, your body is your body and your personality is your personality and you're unique. And we're all just trapped in these bodies that our parents gave us. And you know, who knows why some are more aesthetically pleased? Well, it's symmetry, you know, but, um, you know, You're very hard on yourself. Um, but it's it, it really is just a thing where who cares? You know, not everyone's going to like everything. So at, at a certain point, it's just like, forget it. I'm just going to be the host. And and I mean, I thought I was good on the show. So and, and it, I would watch him and laugh. So that's really all I care about. Hey, folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you want to see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm going to give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.